Hello everybody. Today we will solve May June 2003 physics paper and today we are working on question number question number 3. He says figure 3.1 illustrates the arrangement of molecules of a substance in its solid, liquid and gaseous states. There are three figures given. State which arrangement A, B and or C contains molecules with the most energy. Here we only have to state, state which arrangement. So this is a fact that the gas molecules have the most energy in them. So the answer will be C. Then the next question is explain in terms of the forces between the molecules and their separation why gases are easier to compress than liquids? It's, it's a very famous question. Gases, gases are easier to compress because there is a lot of intermolecular spacing between its molecules. Due to that large intermolecular spacing, it's possible when you apply force, they come close to each other. Another reason is that the force of repulsion between the nuclei of the, of the gas is weaker as compared to the liquid so this is these are the two reasons that's why the it's very easy to compress again so let's write the answer gases are easier to compress than liquids the reason is very simple because uh, due to larger intramolecular molecular Spacing between molecules of gas and less force of repulsion between gas molecules. Cules. Okay, the next one is the latent heat is needed to change the substance from solid to liquid. And uh, explain in terms of forces between the molecules and the separation why. The latent heat is when the solid will be changing its state into the liquid. During that process, you all should remember that when the solid is converting into liquid, the state change is taking place, the temperature do not change. So the heat which you provide, we call it the latent heat. That latent heat basically do perform two two functions it helps the molecules to overcome the intermolecular forces and it moves the molecules away from each other none of this heat is used to increase the kinetic energy remember this is a very important point none of this latent heat is used to increase the because the kinetic energy because the temperature do not change so the latent heat is used it is used to overcome intermolecular forces intermolecular forces and move molecules away from each other the next question is define the term define the term uh, specific latent heat of fusion of a substance it's a definition two marks definition very easy latent heat is uh, the amount of heat required for unit mass of a substance to convert from solid to liquid at its melting point without any change in the temperature so that is it is amount of energy or heat amount of heat required to convert unit mass of a solid into liquid at its 
melting point without any change in its temperature so that's all this is question number three i hope you understand it